Hi friends, in the previous video on this channel, I promised you that we will not bother you with any other videos till the exam day. But there is a very important and very interesting observation we made looking at gate 2021 20, question papers. There are a couple of question papers that have already that have already finished, right? Whose exams are already completed. These are non-computer science papers. We have made a couple of important observations that we thought we should share with you because they can impact your scores. So let's go into them. So first and foremost, typically, if you see gate papers till now, 2020, 2019, etc., you typically have the one mark questions followed by the two mark questions in a very nice order. So what a lot of students try to do is they first finish the one mark questions and then they go to the two mark questions. Or some students also have a different strategy where they first finish the two mark questions and then come to the one mark questions. Because they're all well, well ordered, they're all neatly ordered. But if you look at the 2021 gate papers, the non-CS papers, which have already completed, whose exams are already completed, we see that one and two mark questions are jumbled. Right? This could happen for CS paper also. We cannot be 100% certain that in the computer science paper, the one and two mark questions will be jumbled or will not be jumbled. We cannot be sure. But imagine if they are jumbled, you have to be prepared for it. That's very important. So imagine, because all of you might have prepared your strategies for, for tackling the examination based on one marks followed by two marks. But if they are jumbled up, please don't waste your time looking for the one mark questions or the two mark questions. Try to have an adaptive mindset with an adaptable strategy in the examination. Again, if they, we cannot be 100% sure, right? So the GATE CSE 2021 paper may have jumbled up questions for one and two marks or it may not be jumbled up. If it is not jumbled up, it is one marks followed by two marks, well and nice. All the strategies that you have designed till now for tackling the examination paper are valid. But if they are jumbled up, you please be prepared for an alternative mechanism and the suggestion that we are making here is don't waste time looking for one or two mark questions because you're going to waste time that way, right? Just go with the flow, start answering the questions one after the other. There will be some easy two mark questions also. Just go with the flow. Don't waste time looking for one or two marks because you might waste anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes just looking for those questions and that is time lost. That is time that you're not investing in actually solving problems, right? So please be careful about it. Another observation, especially from the non-CS papers, is that there are more fill-in-the-blank numerical answer type questions this year than the previous years. And there are only a few MSQs, not too many MSQs. Okay, again, this is for non-CS papers. For CS papers, we cannot conclude. Don't look at this data and say, hey, in CS paper also, we'll have more NATs. You can't be sure of it. Because the people who set the computer science paper are a very different set of professors as compared to people who are, are the professors who are setting the CS paper, the non-CS papers, right? So we cannot conclude that there will be more NATs, there will only be few MSQs in CS paper. It may or may not be true, right? Again, even, even for the jumbling up of one and two marks, we are not 100% sure of it. But we want you to be prepared for the worst case. If they are jumbled up, your whole strategy that might be based on first solving one mark questions or first solving two mark questions might 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 crumble, right? So be prepared for it. It's just it's just a suggestion. So always in the examination, if there are any unknowns, please try to have an adaptable mindset, right? Also, because you know this a few days before the exam, prepare an alternative strategy in case if your current strategy is that I'll first solve one mark questions followed by two mark questions have an adaptive strategy in case they're jumbled up, how are you going to tackle them? Okay, just be prepared for the worst case. You don't want crazy surprises in the examination, which could lead to your underperformance. We want you to be prepared for all cases. Okay, so all the very best, just be prepared, keep an adaptive, adaptable and an adaptive mindset.